Hey guys, it's Kendra. I am here today at Derm Store Studios to show you how to get this glowy, sun-kissed look. I'm using just a few products that I absolutely love. So if you guys wanna know how to get this look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going in with this foundation from Becca. It is called the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation, but make sure to have an SPF on before, especially if you're going to be outside during the day. So this one I like in particular because it feels super lightweight on your skin. It's breathable, but it also gives you enough coverage. So I'm going to pump a little bit of this on the back of my hand with this dropper application. And I like to use a beauty blender because I want this look to be very lightweight and like it's just my skin glowing. So apply a little bit of product to your beauty blender and and start blending in. So I just bounce the sponge on my skin and this just gives a very lightweight application and I'm just going to apply it all over. So I really like this foundation because it feels like I don't have anything on my skin, but at the same time, I'm still getting enough coverage because you wanna feel good in your skin and like your skin is evened out, especially when it's hotter outside, you don't wanna have that feeling of a ton of makeup on. And then make sure you blend this down to your neck so that everything matches and is even. myself a little bit more coverage in the areas that I need it. So up on my forehead and then around my chin and nose. So once everything is blended, I'm going to set everything with a little bit of powder so that I don't crease and everything locks in place. So I'm taking this powder by Cogendo and I'm going to apply a little bit underneath my eyes and then also any areas where you typically get oily throughout the day. So for me, it's a little bit right in between my eyebrows, around my nose, my chin, and then we're going to warm up the face with some bronzer. So I wanna put a little bit of powder in that area so everything blends in a lot more smoothly. But you don't wanna apply too much because you want this to look like your skin and let it shine through. So moving on to bronzer, I'm taking my Lorac Take Me to Tan Tango Palette. The nice thing about this, you get four different shades. So you can mix them, you can use different ones for different looks. There's two mattes on the top and two shimmer shades down below. So what I'm going to do, because I want to add a little bit of definition to my look, is take Tan Antonio, which is the lightest shade, and this one is matte. And I'm going to apply this right in the hollows of my cheekbones. I'm not going to do a severe contour or anything because I want this look to be pretty natural. So once you have that in your cheekbones, start tapering that up towards your temples. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit more depth with the darker shade. So this is Tan Diego and I'm going to just put that right on top and this will just add a little bit more color and warmth to our face. And you can also mix the colors together just to kind of customize it. And then I'm also going to take that a little bit down my nose and my chin and then don't forget to bring that down to your neck as well. And then if you want a little bit more glow, you can take a little bit of the shimmer shades. So I am going to use Cabo Tan Lucas because this one's a little bit more on the golden side and just put a little bit of that right on top, just sweep that over and it blends those shades together and it'll give that like glowy luminous look, which I love. And just a touch of this. I'm gonna put a little bit of that right on my forehead. And then make sure you blend everything super well together. And you can also use those colors for eyeshadow, which is very nice. All right, so after I'm done with bronzer, I'm going to apply a little bit of a highlight just to give me a beautiful glow. So this one is by Jouer. It is the Luminizing Liquid Highlighter and the shade is Nude Light. This is a twist up. So I'm just going to twist some of that on the back of my hand. It's kind of like a champagne color. 
So it mimics your skin and just gives you that really pretty lit from within look. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on my hand and then apply this right to the tops of my cheekbones. So I'm going to start with just a little bit because it is pigmented and then you can always build upon it. I am pressing this on the tops of my cheekbones, just right on that bone. And then I'm also gonna take that up to the top of my brow to give us that really pretty lit look. Same thing to the other side. Just that right on top. And make sure you really blend this out. Also, I'm going to take a little bit right down the center of my nose. And just a tad to the top of my lip on my Cupid's bow. So I'm going in with a little bit more product to give me a little bit more luminosity. Just really press this into your skin. And then one last thing you can do is just take a little bit of the product on the back of your hand and dab it in the center of your eye to make your eyes look awake and fresh. And it's not even going to look like you have really any product on, but it'll really open up your eyes. Moving on to blush, this is by Tarte. It's one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. I have this in the shade Glisten because it is a beautiful peachy pink shade, which is very universal. So many different skin types can pull this off. Another good thing about this, since it's the Amazonian Clay product, the clay actually helps balance out your oil. So if you do get oily, then this is a really good product for that. So I'm taking just a tad on my brush. And I wanna apply this just right on the apples and blend that back towards my hairline. I think blush in general just helps to complete your look and it gives you a really fresh and awake look to your whole makeup. And I'm just going to build the color. So always apply just light layers. And then if you need more product and you wanna build up the pigment, just add as you go. This is also a product you can use on your eyes too. If you want just a little bit of a peachy shade, you can pop this in the crease or on your lid. All of these products that I use, actually you could just use as eyeshadow. The bronzer would be really pretty too. And then last up to finish my look, I'm going to apply some lipstick. This is from Lipstick Queen. It's in the shade Queen B. The nice thing about this, it's super hydrating to your lips because it's infused with honey. It also helps protect against free radicals. So I'm going to apply just a light coat of this onto my lips because it has a really pretty gold sheen to it and it'll just finish everything off. So this just ties the whole look together. I think it's perfect for the summertime because it gives you that pretty bronze glow. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It's just super easy and versatile. You can wear this during the day. You can also vamp it up a little bit if you're going out at night. And then if you want to find out all the products that I used, I will have them all listed down below for you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye.